Hi Providence Children's Museum friends. My name is Shana and I am an educator. Today I'm going to show you how to inflate a balloon only using these household items. All you need is vinegar, baking soda, a one liter or two liter bottle that is empty, a balloon or balloons depending on how many times you want to repeat the experiment and optional a sharpie that you can use to draw a face on your balloon and have it come to life once it inflates. So let's jump right in. I measured out my vinegar to one cup. So one cup of vinegar. If you, whoops, I'm spilling it everywhere. If you have a funnel, it makes more sense than what I'm doing right now, which is a mess. vinegar and baking soda. The baking soda goes in the balloon. So you're going to want to stretch it out pretty good here. Have a partner help you maybe. You can use a funnel or a spoon to fill the balloon up. Okay, my balloon is full of the baking soda. I used a third cup. So if you were doing it with a two liter bottle, then it's one cup of vinegar and a third cup of baking soda, or really experiment with the measurements and see what happens. So feel free to do that as well. I'm going to open this up really wide and place it over the top of the bottle. And I'm gonna hold it and lift my balloon. So let's see what happens. Whoa, <laughs> it's a lot of baking soda still dropping in there. You can see my creation came to life as I inflated the balloon. Now, what do you think is happening? It is a chemical reaction. Do you know what's being released? That's right, carbon dioxide. So the chemical reaction that occurs between the vinegar and baking soda creates carbon dioxide that in turn inflates your balloon. I hope you have fun experimenting. Feel free to make as many funny faces on your balloons and uh, experiment with the different measurements of vinegar and baking soda and also sizes of bottles. I hope you have fun experimenting and I hope to see you soon. Bye.